from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, a blue wave and a big election night for New Zealand's MMP voting system. Nationals come in at 39%, taking a big chunk out of Labour's share of the party vote, sitting on 26.9%, halved since 2020. Electorates have also swung, with National, Te Pāti Māori and the Greens all on track to take several previously safe red seats. Herald Deputy Political Editor Thomas Coughlin says he was not expecting it. You can basically walk from Stewart Island to Cape Reinga and only walk on national electorates. I think you'd, <laughs> you'd have to find some way of getting around Jenny Salisa's um, electorate of Pamir Otahu. A fire in a boarded-up Wellington Central building has been put out. Fire crews and police attended the blaze at an abandoned building on Guzney Street just after 2.30 this afternoon. Smoke has dissipated through the air, which is clear now. The building, which council describes as empty, shut in 2019 because of its earthquake risk status. Wellington local Emily says she saw smoke blooming out of the building and it reminded her of other large fires that happened earlier this year. At times you could see flames burning through the roof and debris falling down onto the road. In Wairarapa, State Highway 2 in Wangawa, north of Carterton, is closed because of a scrub fire. Confidence Indigenous rights are not dead in the water in Australia after the voice referendum was defeated. It sought to change the constitution to recognise the First Peoples of Australia by establishing a body called the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Voice. All states voted no, with ACT the only region to vote yes. Australian correspondent Murray Old says despite the result, the spotlight is on the situation Indigenous people face. Gaps everywhere. The gaps in things like health. Health, education, employment, justice, housing, land and water, safety, uh, language. That's news. In sport, All Blacks coach Ian Foster wants to savour the Irish victory a touch before shifting attention to the World Cup semi-final against the Pumas. New Zealand will play Argentina on Saturday morning for a spot in the decider after beating Ireland 28-24 in the quarterfinals this morning. Foster says the Pumas are a great team. When they're in the house and play... That physical game, they're tough, but um, that's about two sentences that I'll say about them and the rest will say for the next few days because um, I'm still a little bit in the victory over Ireland, to be fair. Paul Cole says his five-game win in the United States Squash Open final was made more difficult by fronting the match on his own. The New Zealander did not have a coach or trainer present for the big dance in Philadelphia, in which he ousted five-time defending champion Ali Farag to become the first New Zealander in 37 years to win the title. That's sport. I'm Joe Gilfillan. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.